Welcome to the Manjula Awakening. My name is Kiana and today we are going in for a drawing. Let's see. Virgo. Virgo, we are going to take a look at a relationship for you. See what's going on in your relationship energy. I do just want to start by saying that this is a general meeting, a general reading, Virgo. So please just allow your intuition and your discernment to lead you to the pieces that resonate for your life the most and leave the rest in the past for someone else. Now, um, Virgo, I'm going to use this deck to get the context of this reading. See what is going on. Why does Virgo need this drawing today? Uh, I'm sorry, this reading today. Um, guys, I, my children are home. They are in the back. One is asleep. One is up. But my entire household is sick. So please send us some grace with any uh, interruptions that may happen as I am using my free time to deliver these free messages for you guys. Alrighty, Virgo, exchanging gifts. And at the bottom of the deck, we have chaos and a conflict. Alrighty, Virgo, so what I'm seeing is that there is an opportunity, I feel like, to really uh, wrap up a very chaotic cycle that has been very uh, chaotic, well, a chaotic cycle that has brought in quite a bit of conflict in your energy. Um, but there is this need to give a little, to get a little, take a little and give a little energy is what I'm feeling. So let's get the, uh, so let's get the overall energy for this reading. This exchange of gifts. Alrighty, Spirit, what's the overall energy for this reading? The exchanging of gifts. What is the overall energy of exchanging of, of gifts for the Virgo Collective? Thank you. Alrighty, Virgo, so the message that came out for you is you and your loved ones are safe. Um, and then at the bottom of the deck, we have conclusions are within reach. And at the top, we have it is time to take action. So Virgo, what I am immediately expecting, uh, I don't know what I, why I said expecting, but what I am immediately feeling from this is that there, this is the time to kind of offer an olive branch uh, to someone. Uh, spirit wants you to know that you and your loved ones are safe. So whatever this energy is, uh, if you're kind of avoiding reaching out to someone because you're afraid of, okay, let's just say for instance, Virgo, you're kind of breaking off from one connection, moving into, or maybe desiring to move back to someone else from your past. Maybe you're hesitant on making that move because you don't want the karma that are the bullshit from this connection that you're leaving to spill over on this person. And then they think that you've not changed any at all and then you're just the same old person. So spirit is wanting you to know that conclusions are within reach. The universe is uh, trying to, the universe is orchestrating an outcome so that the things can wrap up so that you can take the action towards this loved one. Uh, that's what I'm initially feeling, but let's jump in and see what's going on with the messages of love. Guys, if these messages are resonating so far, I know there's not a lot of cards out on the table, but don't forget to give us a thumbs up. It just kind of grows the channel and helps leave us some encouragement to keep this content coming. Alrighty, Spirit, what is the message of love for Virgo under this energy? Virgo, what is the message of love for Virgo under this energy, Spirit? Thank you. Protected, this is twice, Virgo, that the energy, the pop-out energy has come out onto the table that you are safe. You are safe and divinely guided. There's a need to listen to your intuition. You already know the answers that you seek. And rejection. This rejection is actually divine protection. Another card that speaks of protection. Okay, Virgo. Uh, take the time to get to know each other. 
very bow. Virgo, you are safe and divinely protected. Uh, what you're, what you're, what's going on that you're not quite aware of is that you're seeking and searching for the answers that you already know. These answers must, the answers are going to be found internally. They're not found externally. And then like consciously, uh, if you've been recently rejected from anything or turned down, this isn't the time to really take it too personal. Understand that the universe is protecting you. So I feel like that you're being rejected from someone. Or you are rejecting someone at this time. Because either you have a previous cycle that you need to close up. Or the person that is rejecting you, Virgo, has something that they're trying to wrap up and they don't want it to spill over onto you. With Virgo having so much safe and protected energy, I kind of feel like that's what it is. Alrighty, so let's take a look at Virgo, the connection in your person. Three cards, please. One for Virgo. One for the person and one for the collective, I mean the connection in that order. One for Virgo, one for the person, and then one for the connection spirit in that order, please. All right, spirit. What do we have? So Virgo has the judgment. Your person has the Eight of Wands, and the connection is the Seven of Wands. More guarded, protected, stand your ground energy. Um, it's at the bottom, the Queen of Swords. So Virgo is showing up as this judgment energy, and the judgment card is really about this self-reflective energy. Uh, really going within and uh, listening to your intuition, having this uh, going within and, and trying to have this awakening to what it is that you truly desire, what it is. Uh, so something that was once rejected is possibly has the opportunity to reconcile. I don't know why that came to me. Uh, because I feel like that uh, I think that someone I think this is a final decision and and to make sure that Virgo is making this final decision and standing their ground and understanding that um, even with the decisions that you're being called to make at this time um, it is for the betterment of the long term your person is showing up as the eight of wands your person is definitely moving forward this is definitely some this is traveling energy uh sudden egg. it's like Sudden expansion, sudden forward movement. And the seven of wands energy. That's uh that's Leo energy for me, so ego could be at play here. Um There's a need for Virgo to stand their ground on a decision. And I feel like that Virgo is going to be asked to reject an offer coming in. And understand that the offer and the communication that is coming in. Uh, listen to your intuition as it pertains to that communication. Because you do know the answers that you see. I'm going to leave that right there. 
with this queen of swords at the bottom she is very intuitive she um is able to really she has a clear perspective she is able to cut through the bullshit in the fog in the confusion and see what is what is and what ain't so that's what i feel like virgo is needing to know right now Alrighty, spirit i want to look and see what pulls uh what brings this connection together what pulls this connection apart and what needs virgo's attention at this time Thank you, Spirit. I kind of see Virgo like blocking this. I also kind of feel like this could be like blocked communication. I feel like that, that needs to be the final decision for Virgo um, is to kind of like block communication with someone. What brings this connection together? The Ace of Cups. There is real love there. What pulls this connection apart? The Queen of the Queen of Wands. Uh, there's a lot of things that I could get from that. There's a lot of things that I can get from that. Um, the Queen of Wands. She is hell. She's very very charismatic very passionate very uh she's a go-getter right so someone could be too independent for the other person there could be too much independence and not enough teamwork here but honestly what i am feeling is that there is another person could could it be could it be is that jealousy hot-headedness selfishness i do feel like uh that that could possibly be another woman what does virgo need to focus on another person Virgo needs to focus on the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> so, a couple of messages here, Virgo. There, there's definitely a need to nurture what makes you happy, Virgo. That's what you need to focus on here. But this could also be very well you needing to focus on... Um, your home work life balance there could be an imbalance in your home work life this could be you uh putting more time into the energy that really truly holds the key to your heart i don't know why i'm being drawn into that key on her neck virgo Um, this could this could also be the mother of your children. This could be your mother. This is a mother figure. Uh, there's a need to focus on that, Virgo. Move towards that. Yeah, so that's what I've got there for you, Virgo. I'm going to actually leave it right there. Alrighty, Spirit, what is the closing message for Virgo? Guys, if these messages are resonating with you all, don't forget to leave us a thumbs up and a comment so that we can keep this kind of content coming for you guys. What is the closing message for Virgo Spirit? Lavender, surround yourself with love. I really do feel like that this page, I'm sorry, this Queen of Disc is really speaking on self-love. There's a need for Virgo to really do some self-love, some self-care, and to make sure that they're um, intertwining themselves with people that truly and authentically care about them and their best interests and their heal. Like people that don't pull from you, Virgo, is who you need to be uh, surrounding yourself around. As I do feel like that this energy is draining a lot from you with this chaos and conflict. 
And I just feel like that the time is coming for this to implode so that you can move forward on to something else. I feel like that this is this this is over. There is definitely an ending here. This is a 19 that goes to 10, which is an ending. Alrighty, Virgo. So these are the messages that I have for you today. I pray that these messages provided you with some guidance on your journey. And in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, guys, let's choose peace, love and light.